It doesn't just teach kids to judge each other by the color of their skin. It encourages them to compete with one another on the basis of racial identity, on the basis of, quote, or what they're competing for is, quote, power and resources. That's in the bill. So let's pause. This idea that ethnic studies is about bringing a hot dish or wearing an ethnic outfit or telling your story, talking about the complicated history of World War II, that might be included within it, but what it is at its core is right here. In lines 39.3 through 39.7, where it states that a new district advisory committee must, and this is straight from the bill, must recommend to the school board, among other things, strategies to ensure the curriculum is such and such so forth, anti-racist. That's the key word, anti-racist. Now, big deal, right? Curriculum should be anti-racist. Well, what does that mean? We go back to definitions and how important they are. In lines 37.4 and 37.5, we have a definition of anti-racist. It means, and again, this is taken straight from the bill, actively working to identify and eliminate racism in all forms so that, so that, and this is the key part, power and resources are redistributed and shared equitably among racial groups. That's what we're trying to do with ethnic studies.